constitution we are accountable. We're being asked every day to account for the judgments. Social media makes you very ordinary um, because you get abused. You know, you, you read stuff where people are calling you a he goat, an idiot, and everything else. So it, it brings you down. But it also gives you a chance to, 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 to have your finger on the pulse you know, of the nation on some issues. There might be a few people, but still, I think uh, people don't improve unless they, they are criticized and unless they, they look at that you know, critique. Uh, and, and for me, I think it's, it's uh, what the Constitution decrees that uh, if you are a public officer, you know, you should expect to be defamed, you know, to be abused, you know. And if you don't want that kind of thing, stay out of it. And that's, that's for me, is, uh, uh, is something I found very interesting in, in terms of uh, uh, transforming the judiciary, because people are asking everything. And sometimes you, as a human being, you feel so violated. Uh, but <coughs> you realize that's how institutions uh, get stronger. They get stronger by um, getting people to have faith in them, uh, being accountable, you know, and uh, uh, being human. A lot of institutions are so inhuman that they, they have to be attacked all the time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just thinking about convincing Kenyans about you know the judgments that the yeah. courts make, yes. uh, you really haven't talked much uh, ever since the presidential petition. We've had uh, discussions with the academy uh, judges like Judge Ojuang, and you know has been in uh, uh, a lot of forums, you know, explaining the judgment where we've been invited, um, but. Uh, the invitations haven't been many. They have been from, you know, academics. Uh, and the people are writing about it, you know, uh, externally and internally. So there is an engagement. <coughs> and I think that's something we could um, do with the media once we get the invitations and we prepare for it. That's the way to, to deal with it. Some people will understand if they are fair. But the other people who... You know, even if Atakipiga Debe, they will never see it. So, <laughs> and that's fine. <laughs> that's, that's okay. Just looking at that yeah. uh, particular matter and looking at it wholesomely, yeah. uh, it's several months after uh, that election was yeah. over and the petition is over, mm -hmm. and we've had time to look at the merits and, you know, mm -hmm. uh, all other issues concerning this petition. Are you proud of that judgment? <laughs> yes, it was a simple case. It wasn't complex. So um, when people want to discuss it, uh, we will discuss it, you know. But as I said, we operate in an environment uh, of uh, suspicion, you know, divisions. And uh, in my view, in certain political cases, people look for political outcomes and solutions. The law doesn't give you that. You know, you have to get political outcomes from uh, the, you know, from the streets, you know, from other places, because that's a political issue. When you come to courts, it's the constitution, it's the law, it's the evidence. I have no doubt in my mind, you know, that we applied the law, the constitution, and the evidence uh, that we had to reach to reach that, uh, you know, to reach that decision. And um, as people debate it, and as people ask specific questions, uh, you know, they will we'll be able to, you know, to see uh, whether there are certain weaknesses. So, you know, that's, that's the nature of legal processes. Um, and we are not big enough to uh, and we're not arrogant enough to, to, to basically say if uh, people, um, you know, find issues. Uh, we will say yes. I mean, personally, I think that when people say that uh, uh, we should have, uh, the way we delivered the judgment was, you know, was, was not right, 
we needed to explain to the people in detail and so forth. Thank Upon the reflection, yes, people don't know that there was such a short window, you know, of, of doing this. And if you didn't finish by 14 days the uh, constitutional crisis of monumental proportions uh, could, you know, could have happened. And it's not that we, you know, we, we didn't do a great job. We had a battery of almost 70 lawyers doing that thing. It wasn't just the six of us. We had legal researchers and we looked at everything and uh, uh, but when we got to the end, uh, we, we, we said, okay, you know, we have the judgment, but we need more time to, you know, to just, you know, you know write it. Um, so these are the issues I say we'll be, you know, uh, talking about if the public give us a chance and um, if um, uh, they want a discussion with the courts, which I think we should have uh, all the time. With, with the benefit of hindsight, yeah. uh, would you say the way our constitution is framed yeah. and the way we deal with these political matters yeah. in terms of time frame, in terms of even bringing it to the judiciary, mm -hmm. should we have a conversation on how we handle our political matters? Yes, I, th I think I think you're absolutely right. You know, let's let's even if you're going to change the con you know to amend the constitution, let's have that discussion. Do you uh, want to take political? issues that are, can be very, very, very controversial to the courts? Or shouldn't the parties and, the, you know, the politicians themselves think of uh, systems of mediation um, uh, where they can deal with, you know, with these issues rather than polarize, you know, the country? Because uh, the, the nature of our politics is very ethnic. It's, it's a very fractional. Okay, you know, they use everything. It's, you know, it's ethnicity, they use religion, they use race, they use region, they, uh, they use clan. So as you have that kind of, you know, uh, politics, uh, institutions that are growing, and every institution in this country is growing. Okay, we are moving, the Constitution has told us to move from <laughs> the, polit the, from the big men and the women to institutions and there are so many of them uh, that are, are being grown uh, so it's it's if you are growing them within an environment of division it's very very dangerous they will never grow and that's why when you, 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 you they, an institution has a problem like you know uh, salaries uh, you know remuneration commission the first thing people say is disband it you know, we fought for decades to have these institutions in place. Weak as they are, we must grow them because uh, countries become stable because of institutions, not individuals. So if the judiciary becomes uh, independent and it has all the structures and is, is an institution, you know, it, it has nothing to do with Willy Mutunga now. Whoever comes in will fit in an in institution. And there, there are things they can do. Uh, but we, 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 we've, this is why I'm saying we need to, your, your question is great, we need to see in this transition, how do we grow institutions in a country that is, is having such divisive, you know, politics, and where national interest is, is always lost sight of, you know, because of personal animosities and uh, power, you know, power struggles. It's, it's a debate and I think a dialogue that Kenyans must take as quickly as possible and as they start talking about the constitution and what we should uh, what changes we should make which i think is a good debate uh, to uh, to you know to to start uh, because no constitution is, is is perfect but i would want us to debate changes in the constitution that strengthen what is positive and not you know, uh, start talking about, uh, oh, you know, we, we, uh, we want uh, to change this because it doesn't work. So let's have a debate. I, th I think the, the country will be uh, much better for it. Do you think from those uh, precedents yeah. in the last few months yeah. and now that things have happened the way they've happened, do you think the Supreme Court will survive 
you know, this kind of conversation whereby it's politics and someone would say, well, you ruled against me or you ruled against these people or now you belong to this class. The, 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 the Kenyans will have to engage us, um, you know, on this because the Supreme Court has some political jurisdiction. You know, there are cases that are going to come to the Supreme Court about uh, devolution. It's already one there. Uh, equitable distribution of resources. You know, oil is being discovered, coal and so forth. Those counties, you know, they are asking questions. And all those questions are going to come to the, to the courts. So we, we, we need to have an honest discussion, um, you know, about these issues because it, it, it's, it's, um, it's, it's that dialogue that I think is important, you know, where uh, people have to realize the limitation of courts. And they have to realize that there are other things that can be done, you know, in other forums. Uh, this is it. Uh, we're going to come up with media briefs in our judgments so that uh, at least we are talking to the Kenyans and not just the lawyers because a judgment is too, uh, sometimes the wording is too complex. You know, ordinary people can't understand it. So we have to simplify uh, in these political decisions some of the issues and address the public and not the lawyers. The lawyers can read the, you know, the judgments. So we, we, we're also learning, you know, uh, from these experiences, and I'm sure we'll, we'll be better next time around. Uh, CJ, mm -hmm. two years on, mm -hmm. uh, how far do you want to push the judiciary? What would your legacy be? Uh, you know, I don't even think about the legacy, <laughs> because that will be the matter for the historians, right? Uh, but if uh, we have four pillars uh, of uh, judiciary, uh, of the transformation of the judiciary, they said access to justice, professional staff, uh, transformative leadership, uh, IT as enabler, you know, and uh, the other things is about infrastructure, right? They are very clear four pillars that we think if they become permanent, irreversible, irrevocable, and uh, indestructible, then the judiciary will have that foundation uh, for transforming. And uh, that's what I'm dying to achieve. There is a columnist who uh, tried to talk about your legacy mm -hmm. and say that your legacy is tied uh, to the hip, to the Supreme Court ruling, mm -hmm. more like Pontius Pilate. Mm -hmm. Would that be a fair analysis? I, I, I don't think that uh, um, uh, the legacy of the Supreme Court can be judged on the basis of one decision. Uh, we've we've uh, made many other decisions and we'll make others. And uh, people will have to look at all those as, as it grows. Uh, because not all disputes are political. As you came through, you were the people's chief justice. Mm -hmm. uh, the, you, there was immense public support for yes. you, yeah. do you still feel you have it? You know, public support is very dicey. What, what I do, I don't, you know, want marks from, you know, from, from the public. Um, I see myself as a, a chief justice of all Kenyans. And so, um, I, I'm not, I'm not going to be tied to my religion as a Muslim or tied to my community as Kamba or whatever. That, that is not, that's, that's not going to, to happen. And if people were supporting me on sectarian grounds, then they, you know, they wouldn't get anywhere because uh, they, will, they, will, they will see supporting me. Uh, but if they look at the bigger picture, uh, the bigger picture of uh, uh, a united Kenya, a patriotic country, a country that is uh, fighting for healthy diversity, uh, a country that under the constitution is supposed to share resources equitably, um, and how the judiciary should reflect that. This is a deeply uh, divided political country. Yeah. To those who will never agree with you, mm -hmm. uh, owing to that Supreme Court decision, what do you say to them? Um, 
I just tell them that we have to talk, we have to dialogue. You know, they have a position, but they have to hear my position as well. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's, you, 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 you can't be that dogmatic, because if you're that dogmatic, you're also unthinking, you know? So uh, it's, it's, it's a duel. I'm inviting a duel, which is a discussion and a dialogue. Uh, if I don't convince people about it, that's fine. You know, people, I will respect, you know, their position because that's, that's how things should be. But until you've dialogued over an issue, uh, it's, it's not actually nice to hold, you know, a, dog, a dogmatic position. <laughs> thank, thank you very much, my brother. Much. I'll see you. You've done well. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you.